Feline infectious peritonitis FIP is an immune mediated disease triggered by infection with feline coronavirus FCOV. Feline coronavirus itself is not severe and is shed mainly in feces. Cats are become infected with this virus via fecal oral transmission. When cats are infected with feline coronavirus, in some cats, a mutation occurs in a certain region of the FCOV genome that creates FIP virus. FIP virus has the ability to replicate within macrophages, which are an important part of the immune system. Both of these viruses are a major problem in environments in which many cats are kept together in a confined space, for example, shelters and pet stores, because they use the same location to bury their feces. Although the prevalence of FCOV infection is very high in multi-cat households, less than 5% of cats in these situations develop FIP. The risk is higher for young and immunocompromised cats or for cats that had surgery or has experienced any kind of stress. FIP virus has the ability to replicate within macrophages, which are important part of the immune system. Infected macrophages distribute virus into the intestines and then travel through the bloodstream to different body organs. These macrophages release inflammatory mediators and these mediators will lead to release of vasoactive amines. Vasoactive amines such as histamine increases vascular permeability. Eventually, plasma proteins will leak from blood vessels and fluid will accumulate in the abdomen, thorax, or pericardium. Moreover, inflammatory mediators activate proteolytic enzymes that cause tissue damage. Clinical signs of FIP vary depending on organ involvement. Many organs, including the liver, kidneys, pancreas, CNS, and eyes, can be involved. In all cats with chronic weight loss or fever resistance to antibiotic treatments, FIP should be on the list of differential diagnoses. Two different forms of FIP are distinguished. Number one, an exudative wet form. Number two, non-exudative granulometous dry form. These forms can transform into each other and also the mix of these two forms can also develop. So differentiation between these forms is not useful. Clinical signs of FIP include number one, fever, weight loss, or icterus may be noted. Number two, ascites, abdominal swelling. Number three, ocular lesions, retinal changes are the most common. Number four, neurological signs, the most common is ataxia, followed by nystagmus and seizures. A definitive diagnosis of FIP can often only be made after death on histopathological findings. For diagnosis, first obtain history of the cat and review the clinical signs. Next, if abdominal or thoracic effusion is present, analyze that fluid. This effusion is classified as a modified translate. The protein content is very high, whereas the cellular content is very low. Diagnostic test that can be performed on fluid is Rivalta test. You need to add one drop of 8% acetic acid to 5 ml of distilled water and mix thoroughly. Then carefully layer a drop of effusion on top. If the drop retains its shape, the test result is positive. Hematology and serum biochemistry. Decrease in lymphocytes and in platelets is commonly present. Serum albumin to globulin ratio decreases in FIP because the globulin levels increases. Total serum protein level is often high. PCR and other tests cannot be used as a tool to definitively diagnose FIP. Treatment of FIP Therapy is aimed at suppressing inflammatory response with prednisolone. Cats with large effusions benefit from removal of the fluid. Cats should receive supportive therapy including fluids and nutritional support. For those cats that show no improvement within 3 days after treatment initiations, euthanasia should be considered. The prognosis for a cat with FIP is often very poor. FIP cannot transmit from cat to cat and there is no available vaccine against it. Humans cannot become infected with FCOB or develop FIP.